Okay, so before I get with this video, and best believe I took so many takes to do this video because I'm trying to sound real professional with this shit, but all I got to say right now is fail. Welcome to Blaze Blue. But I'm going to say Blaze Blue because that's the that's the how I fucking pronounce it, even though it's the wrong way. But welcome, fam. We just going to talk about Blaze Blue, my nigga. Right now, I am in the middle of trying to own my skills, fam. I'm garbage as fuck. I already know this by long time. My homie Michael know this shit. I only can beat, like, locals, like, scrubs, like, fucking, you know, other people. But anyway... Look, I've been playing Blaze Blue like heavy lately. Wherever I go to my friend Michael house, man, and it's like, damn, I want to get back into Blaze Blue because it's like I used to play Blaze Blue back in the day, back in the day. But then I was like, Shh. other than that, I started playing it again when I heard out with Rahani. You know, uh, I've been slow. She been posting a lot of Blaze Blue stuff, and I was like, oh shit, I remember playing Blaze Blue back in the day. So it's like, okay, I recollect the whatnot. But then when I met my dog Michael, this nigga body the fuck out of my ass. So I was like, okay, shit. Like, pretty much the only person that I get pr I'm pretty much good with in Blaze Blue as of this point, I would want to say Noel and, well, Noel because she's pretty easy to use or whatnot. But I'm good with Noel and also freaking um, Bullet right now. Like, those are my two female mains. Right now, who I want to main as a male is fucking Jin Kisaragi. Like, hello. I want to main Jin because he's. Jin got some pretty, pretty cool ass moves. Ragnar. See, I will go for Ronda since I'm the fucking attack. Like, I like being the protagonist character and all this, but it's like, I, I kind of feel more swagged out with Jin's skills and whatnot. But uh, other than that, man, if you know about Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue is basically this uh, 2D fighter game. Uh, everybody, you know, you see it on tournaments and whatnot, Evo, the show you can wear sites and all that other shit. You see it anywhere, CEO Taku, all that, man. I'm like, bruh. I'm going to put Blaze Blue, I'm going to start putting Blaze Blue in my channel, fam. Like, honestly, I don't give a fuck. People can be like, oh, you a scrub and all this. Look, man, I want to get back in. I want to start playing Blaze Blue. I want to be in a competitive way in Blaze Blue. And I don't care how many times I get body or whatnot. If I got to get body in order to learn, the more I learn, the more I get body is the, you know, the more I learn shit, basically. So it's like, hey, I'm getting body, but I'm learning from my mistakes and all that. But other than that, I just want to say, yo, um, prepare for Blaze Blue stuff, fam. Like, honestly, yo, like, real shit. I will start talking about Blaze Blue more on my fucking channel, fam. Or when I get Chrono Fantasma with Extent. I'll probably do some rate matches and whatnot. I don't know. Tell me if you guys want to see some rate matches of Blaze Blue. But I will be talking about some Blaze Blue, especially how the game be coming in monthly and whatnot. So it's like, I, I try to stay up point with Blaze Blue. That'll probably be the only fighting game. That you'll actually hear me talk about. Naruto don't really count, y'all. Come on, we get, we, let's be honest now. But Blaze Blue, I'm pretty much going to be start talking about that more. So, you know, hit me up. You guys want me. It's uh, like, you want to know, like, what's good in Blaze Blue. Like, yo, just know I'm garbage as fuck. No real shit. I am garbage as fuck. <laughs> but uh, all that being said, man, yeah. Uh, this means more to me. I thought I'd get y'all this fucking little brief. Little detail in Blaze Blue, whatnot, man. Uh, pretty much Blaze Blue start off with the protagonist, protagonist Ron the Blood Edge. Pretty much, uh, he's trying to fucking. I want to say he's trying to save the world or whatnot, but as he go along his journey to try and master the as a Grim Roy, Grim Roy, <laughs> he pretty much uh have to come to the situation where he gotta save the world and save his friends and whatnot. He got a fucking twisted brother named Jinki Saragi. Uh, a girl named Noelle Vermillion who looks similar to his sister Saya. And, you know, basically, you know, if you play the game, you'll get the full concept. Just know it's a, it's a major story for a fighting game. Like, honestly. Blaze, Blaze Blue is an amazing story. But uh, enough that bullshit being said. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Uh, again, man, I'm going I'm gonna start uh, owning my skills in Blaze Blue. You guys want some Blaze Blue content, like rank battles and whatnot, when I get Blaze Blue Colonel Phantasma, because I'm still waiting for the uh, freaking uh, Central Friction to come down. That shit ain't coming down to like, what, the end of this year or 2017, because that's how they usually do it. But uh, with all that being said, man, this be more to oblivion, man. Uh, all that being said, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the like, subscribe, hit the like. Oh, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Peace, bitch.